Iowa Catholic Radio presents the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines. Father Joseph Pins, pastor. Father John Broby, associate pastor. We offer this Mass for the soul of Julie Bragman. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the memorial of Saint Leo the Great, a Pope and a doctor of the Church, who stood in defense of the faith and for God. For the occasions that we have failed to stand for God and also defend the faith, let us call to mind and ask God to forgive us. Lord Jesus, you raised us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. O God, who never allowed the gates of hell to prevail against your church, Family founded on the apostolic rock, grant her, we pray, that through the intercession of Pope St. Leo, she may stand firm in your truth and know the protection of everlasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Sirach. If it pleases the Lord Almighty, he who studies the law of the Most High will be filled with the spirit of understanding. He will pour forth his words of wisdom and in prayer give thanks to the Lord, who will direct his knowledge and his counsel as he meditates upon his mysteries. He will show the wisdom of what he has learned and glory in the law of the Lord's covenant. Many will praise his understanding. His fame can never be effaced. Unfading will his memory be. Through all the generations, his name will live. Peoples will speak of his wisdom and in assembly sing his praises. The word of the Lord. Mm-hmm. Our response, the mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. The mouth mm-hmm. of the just murmurs wisdom. Trust in the Lord and do good that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will grant your heart's requests. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. Commit to the Lord your way, trust in him, and he will act. He will make justice dawn for you like the light, bright as the noonday shall be your vindication. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. The mouth of the just man tells of wisdom, and his tongue utters what is right. The law of his God is in his heart, and his steps do not falter. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Whoever keeps the word of Christ, the love of God is truly perfected in him. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, A rich man had a steward who was reported to him for squandering his property. He summoned him and said, What is this I hear about you? Prepare a full account of your stewardship, because you can no longer be my steward. The steward said to himself, What shall I do? Now that my master is taking the position of steward away from me, I am not strong enough to dig, 
and I am ashamed to beg. I know that I know what I shall do. I sh I know what I shall do so that when I am removed from the stewardship, they may welcome me into their homes. He called in his master's debtors one by one. To the first he said, How much do you owe my master? He said to him, He replied, One hundred measures of olive oil. He said to him, Here is your promissory note. Sit down and quickly write one for fifty. Then to another he said, And you, how much do you owe? He replied, One hundred measures of wheat. He said to him, Here is your promissory note. Write one for eighty. And the master commended that dishonored steward for acting prudently. For the children of this world are more prudent in dealing with their own generation than the children of light. The Gospel of the Lord. We celebrate today the memorial of Saint Leo the Great, who was a pope, a fearless pope, who defended the church in word and deed. At a time, there were many people who stood against the church, even church members, criticizing the church and attacking most of the doctrines of the church. But this man wrote a lot to correct them, and he also stood against external aggression against the church, mostly from barbarians. And it is said that at one time, when the barbarians came to attack Rome, this pope went out fearlessly to meet the leader of those people, Attila. And this man was a man who never accepted anything, but when he met the pope, they said that he showed a great respect to the pope, and he made a peace treaty with him. And later, the man said that when he met the pope, he saw great two great figures behind him, and he was speaking to the pope. And he said that God sent his angels and the saints to protect this man so that he can always stand and defend the church. That is what happens to you when you stand for God, when you stand for the truth. God never abandons you when you are doing his work, when you stand for him. So the life of this man is an encouragement for us to always to stand for God, stand for the church, stand for the truth knowing that God will never abandon us. In the Gospel reading of today, we hear about Jesus' parable about a rich man who had one of his stewards who decided to sack this steward, dismiss him because he was not taking good care of his property. But this steward sat down and decided what to do. We heard that he made another arrangement with the debtors of his master that they should pay something less. And Jesus was praising this man. In fact, the, the emphasis of this story is not about the dishonesty of the steward. When we read parables, the parables, the figures in the parables do not matter. What matters is the story. They contribute to form a story. So the story is about the determination of those people who, or the determination of people to get what they want, to prepare for their future. So the emphasis of Jesus praising the steward is in the fact that this steward prepared for his future. That's why he said people in the dark know how to prepare for themselves more than the people of light. So he, when he, he saw that he was going to be dismissed, he prepared for his future. So when he had no work to do, he knew what to do. He had something to lie on. Most of us prepare for our future. 
for our retirement, you contribute so that when you go on retirement, we shall have something to live on. Winter is about to come. You're preparing for winter. So at a time, we shall have clothing, we shall have, we shall have what we need. How much more do we prepare for the eternal kingdom? As Christians, we are aiming at heaven. Jesus' point is that how are you prepare, preparing to go to heaven? Are you determined enough to look for things that will help you get to heaven? This young man in the parable prepared for his future. What are you doing? Are you preparing for a future? Are you determined enough to spend a lot so that you can get to eternal kingdom? That is the emphasis of the story. So Jesus is praising him for preparing for his future. And he's advising us as Christians to prepare to do all that we can to have heaven. Never let anything stand between you and heaven. Whatever you, you have to use to prepare for heaven, you must do that because that is our aim. Our aim in this world is to go to heaven. So make a good determination that you want to be in heaven. Spend all that you have. Use all that you have to acquire heaven. That will be your crown. Let us stand and present our petition before our loving God. For the church, may God grant her wisdom in discerning how to use the gifts he gives her. Let us pray to the Lord. For civic leaders, may they have the dignity for life from conception till natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. For all in want of food, shelter, or friendship, may God in his great mercy give them what they need. Let us pray to the Lord. For all innocent people in the Middle East harmed by violence or instability, may God's grace sustain and strengthen them and keep them from harm. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of us here, may the power of the Spirit of God enable us to proclaim the gospel as faithful ministers of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. For Julie and for all who have died, may God grant them eternal rest and peace in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. And for all those prayers that are in the depths of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of mercies, we stand open to receive what you will give us in answer to our prayers. Grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed thy Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of female hands. It will become our bread of life. Blessed thy Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Through the offering made here, we pray, O Lord, grace your shed right on your church so that your flock may everywhere prosper and that under your governance, the shepherds may become prison to your name. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is true, right, and just, our duty and salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for as on the festival of St. Leo, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his works of preaching, 
and keep us safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of the angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we are cream. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Son of God, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon us like the dew fall, so that you become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will pour out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When you eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your dead, O Lord, until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, on all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Be priests, O Lord, we pray, to govern the church you have nourished by this holy meal, so that firmly directed she may enjoy ever greater freedom and persevere in integrity of religion. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. You've been listening to the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines on the Iowa Catholic Radio Network.